Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Trish and today I want to give you a short guide for the Jade Skin Comp. It is a strong comp with many variations and most of the time will guarantee you a top 4, if not the win. Jade wasn't the same since Anivia and Nika got removed, therefore Shoyu is not enough to carry the team. The Jade units you will have in the most of the versions I am about to show you are Jax, Gnar, Shoyu, and Soraka. There are many ways you can play around the Jade depending on what you get in the shop and what the others are going for in the lobby. But let us start first with the early team comp you will have to build. Field Karma, Gnar, Jax, Olaf and Volibear. You can use Volibear as the carry for the items you will later put on Shioyu. So let's take a look at how you can play Jade in set 7.5. The first version we're going to discuss, and probably my favorite one, looks a little bit like this. It has Jace as a second carry and Wukong as the seventh Jade. Feel free to add an Olaf in so you have both Bruisers and Warrior traits activated. But I prefer sometimes to put Pantheon in to have a more tanky team comp. At level 9 you can add Bard. Now let's see what items work best for our carries. For Shio Yu, you really want to have a Titan's Resolve and an Age of Night. Some options for the third items are Bloodthirster, Hand of Justice, or a Rage Blade if you have enough healing across the team. For Jace, you have two builds that work on him really well. First one would be with Archangel, Morello, and Ionic Spark. The other one would be Jewel Gauntlet and Infinity Edge combo with a Hand of Justice as a contender for the third spot. But don't worry if you don't have those exact items, there are plenty of options that you could build on him. If you happen to have a shapeshifter heart, you can opt to play 4 shapeshifters. All you need to do is take Wukong and Soraka, or Jax if you feel like your uh, team is tanky enough, and add Shivana in. Since Jace and Shivana have the same itemization, you can put the items on Shivana if you feel like she's stronger than Jace. Another version would be to replace Wukong, Olaf and Soraka with Pantheon and Siphon. In this case, Siphon will be your second carry. Just like in the first comp, you can add Bard at level 9. The item options are the same for Shioyu and pretty similar for Siphon. Depending on how many swords the game gives you, you can build the exact same items for a Siphon. But there are plenty of options that you can build on him. Pretty much any AD items is just good enough. I find Titan's Resolve to be pretty important for our dragon to succeed, so make sure you focus on building that. The third and final version that I'll present you today is a version that I've been playing when there are mages and evokers players in the lobby. It has Shioyu and Jace as the carries, Jax and Gnar in order to hit 5 Jade, and the rest of the mystic champions, Seraphim, Rakan and Bard. We've already discussed the items you will have to build on Shioyu and Jace, so I'll leave them here a little bit longer if you want to see them again. In all the versions I just presented you, the carries are tier 4 champions. In order to get higher chances of finding those champions in your shop, you need to hit level 8 as soon as possible. Ideally, you'd want to hit level 8 by stage 4 too. Slow roll until the dragon treasure in case you need some gold to get the right items and then you can roll down to hit the units you need if you feel like your uh, team comp is not strong enough. Let's talk about augments. The augments you should look out for when playing this comp are Celestial Blessing, Knife Sedge, Thrill of the Hunt, Eternal Protection, Penitence, Jade Heart or Soul, Shapeshifter Heart or Soul, and Beast Den.
Hope this video will help in your next rank game. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I post twice a week so subscribe for more TFT content. See you in the next video.